Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of my right botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help you get your mind right. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. I truly appreciate all of the support. Let's see who the Holy Spirit wants to use to get out a message for the collective, which king or queen zodiac or element let's see holy spirit can we get one card please and thank you air signs i guess we going with air signs okay air sign energy there may be some breaking news that's about to be damn i just cut the deck on justice okay let me get some more add to the stack Holy Spirit, what do we need to know surrounding air sign, energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra? Holy Spirit, what is the insight, guidance, and clarity that you have for the collective at this time? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know surrounding Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air sign, energy, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, air sign energy. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. We're very thankful and grateful for everything you have revealed to us, given us understanding about Holy Spirit. But what do we need to know from this message here? What is it that we need to know? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Let's go. That 5D connection can get out of control if you let it. Flawed. Okay, then challenge accepted. He loves her. Because somebody thought they was going to try to use spell work. Okay. To make a man stop loving a woman. But that's a flawed mindset. To think that you're going to spiritually... Manipulate somebody out of loving who they love. And whoever this masculine is, his soul and his spirit fought back, okay, over this mental manipulation that someone tried to put over him to get him to stop loving this woman that he still loves, okay? Because nothing ain't changed about that. Okay, they may have had him confused for a while, but that's a flawed mindset to think that you're going to make someone forget their true love for another. I feel like this masculine has risen out of that karmic partnership that he was being spiritually manipulated in. Okay. He may have read up on what he needed to do to rise from the ashes, to release that spiritual grip off of his life, to get his mind right. And whatever he was doing, he was moving in silence because he knew that the person he was with could not be trusted. If he wanted to manifest the life that he wanted, he needed to do it quietly because the life he was living with this person was flawed. I'm telling you, it's some energy like this man was manipulated into thinking that he did not love you. He was spiritually thinking that maybe he didn't love you and he didn't care for you the way that he has realized he still does because he back here. I'm telling you now, he back to I can tell you how I feel about you night and day. Somebody tried to make this man stop loving you and that shit ain't going. Okay. He has talked to his siblings about sins he's committed since he's been apart from you and maybe even sins he committed against you. 
in this flawed mindset he was in because he lied on and about you is out here. So in his delusion, because I'm picking up on it, y'all, I'm picking up on how whoever he was fucking with, she had his mind gone. Do you hear me? He didn't know she was spell working on him the way she was. I'm hearing this hoe was putting something in his food and his drink. And it really had him perturbed, unsure about how he felt for you. And he knew something wasn't right within him. He didn't realize exactly what was being done, but he knew that something was not right. And he started researching and looking into what he could do to heal his life and feel better in general. And he didn't came up out that spell she had on him now. He back to loving you and wanting to be with you again. But he's recollecting what he may have done against you when he was up under that spell. Okay? Because I don't think he able to come and run right up on you right now if he want to. He ain't got that permission because of what he did do against you when he was confused, okay? Spiritually confused, but this is his vibe. It's out here about four times now how this man love and care about you and regrets what he did to you, wants to have justice with you. He could be a Scorpio, okay? But he's been confessing to his people how he feel and how he was wrong and how he realized that he needed to perform some sort of exorcism on himself. He didn't exercise that spell work she had on him off of himself, y'all. Okay? Because he knew something wasn't right, but he just didn't know what it was. And whatever he realized he needed to do, whatever he read in this book, Energy, it worked. His mind is clear. They dropping like the flies they send out to spy. And what he's probably seeing is the people around him that are starting to fall off and have problems, including this person he was partnering with, that's indication to him that that was who was spiritually attacking him. She had help. She had people who was keeping him in this karmic loop with her. And it's something like he's seeing her go through the fire as well as other people related to her. And that is spiritual indication. That is a sign from the universe that those were his ops. Those were his enemies. The same people he was eating, drinking, and being married with. They catching hell now. Because they all were working collectively with this person to keep him in a karmic cycle. Keep him away from you even. And I would be mindful about these siblings Look, what came out when I said that. Don't accept bum behavior. Because these siblings was pushing up this Scorpio's failure in life. They were encouraging him to be karmic, to be bad, to be no good. I'm telling you, they were. And... He's talking to them now about his behavior primarily against you. But they were encouraging this behavior at one point in time. Look, he want to talk about it now. He's been talking to them. He want to talk to you. He wants you to know that if he ever took advantage of you sexually, this is giving somebody who would hit it and quit it 
and play in your face until it was time for them to hit it and quit it again. That's the type of sexual abuse I'm getting off of him. It's falling up under sins. There is some energy, though, that at times you may not have wanted to sleep with him, but you knew he wanted to sleep with you, so you slept with him, okay? Like, he know he was out here being ain't shit. Like, he know he was wrong. Hmm. And he's trying to get right with God, with the Most High. He trying to let the Most High God order his steps from here on out. This man may be preparing to come towards you by the spring. Okay. Unicorn energy abusive. I'm telling you, this man know he was abusive to you, unicorn energy. Okay. That he may be trying to clean himself up now, get his act together, heal, and evolve from this cycle of evil energy he was in. Because it's going to take some time to heal from that child. So it might take him till the spring to fully awaken and get his shit together. But he, look, he is on some sort of soul journey. Drink more water, harvest. Do you still love me? Okay, that's his energy. So let's get some tarot on it, shall we? Let's see what else the Holy Spirit wants us to know surrounding this energy at this time. Holy Spirit, what additional insight and clarity do you have for the collective? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What else is it that you would like for them to know? from you through me surrounding this energy on the table this scorpio masculine who has broken the spell up off of his own life okay holy spirit and now he wants to reconnect with his divine feminine he's giving his life over to god here whoever i'm picking up on holy spirit but he knows that he committed a lot of sins against his Unicorn energy, divine feminine. So what's going to be the outcome? What else do you want us to know? Please and thank you from you through me at this time, Holy Spirit. What else? What else? What else? Let's see, y'all. Let's go. Six of swords. That's... um. This person that he was partnering with. What he did to you happened to him, so to speak. Okay. This abusive energy he was in towards you. He was being spiritually abused by this person he was with. They could be an air sign. But he was disconnected. Yeah, they're an air sign. Look. He was disconnected. From how this star energy was spiritually manipulating him. But he's moved on from her. Or either she been sent on her way. One of the two here. Okay. Because this man knew it was time for him to transition up out of this partnership with this person. He was feeling too conflicted about his life. It was too much inner tor turmoil going on with, within him. It was too much inner turmoil. Oh, I can't talk. It was too much inner turmoil happening. Okay. He knew something wasn't right. He knew he shouldn't have been in this evil, sinful energy. Not just with you, but in other aspects of his life as well. You know, he was out here acting like an asshole, a jerk. A narcissist being very crass. He was not in his right mind and he knew it. Okay. And he started to suspect this Aquarius Queen of Pentacles that he was partnering with. So he took 
intuitive, spontaneous action on his own to heal and recover, to fight whatever it was that had him feeling so desolate, so challenged. You know, he did not feel like he was a good person and he wasn't out here being no good person. But, you know, he had a conscience with it because that's not what he was supposed to be doing. That's not how he was supposed to be behaving. And his conscience was pushing up through that spell she had over him. It led him to take action. Okay, so it's really given like this man might might have gotten a metaphysical book of his own or a spiritual book of his own and looked up his symptoms, looked up how he was feeling and how he was behaving. And he didn't found something to counteract that. Okay, he started doing something on his own spiritually. Okay, and she wasn't aware of that. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Strength. She was not aware of the efforts he was making to heal whatever was going on within him, which she was the cause of. And I'm telling you, there was an unexpected shift in this man's energy, his mindset, his soul, his spirit, his heart, all that hatred and evil energy he had for you, that shit was dispelled. This man was led to the most high God. Like this somebody who may have even gotten baptized or like been born again at the church or something. Like he's really trying to get on his divine path. But this temperance energy also speaks about how he has realized that he needed, that he needs to restore the connection with you. He needs to fix it. That's what also was revealed to him when the spell broke up off of him, that you are his divine feminine, that he should be making an offer to. Okay. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? High Priestess. You could be a Queen of Wands High Priestess. And also, this High Priestess energy is just speaking about what's been revealed to him about you. That you are his divine partner. You are his foundation. His end all to be all on this earth. He going through some sort of dark night of the soul. And the more that he heals and the more that he gets closer to the most high God, the more is being revealed about this Aquarius that he was in a partnership with. He's being shown that she was the culprit. She was the reason why he was acting the way he was because of all the spell work that she was putting on him. I'm telling you now, clarify Holy Spirit, Knight of Swords, the fool. And that's why he has freed himself from that partnership. That man has left that partnership behind because he realizes that this air sign was taking action that was destroying him, destroying his soul and his spirit. And now he's on his way to his divine feminine, okay? He could have Gemini in his chart. You could as well. And I'm dropping the mic right there, child. Ain't too much else to say. You know, you're going to have to make your decision, but this is what's going on with this particular masculine. Okay. This is what's going on with him. My phone about to die though. So if it doesn't apply, let it fly. 
Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.